Hi everybody, Christina the Tech Savvy Science Teacher here showing you another feature of GradeCam. So at this point, hopefully you have imported your class lists. If you have not yet done that, you can go ahead and check out the other video that I have that explains how to do that. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create, a, uh, create an assignment. So what you're going to do is if you're not yet on the assignments tab, please click there. Then you're going to click on create. So you're going to give this assignment a name. So maybe this is my cell quiz. And for assignment type, it gives you exam, score, credit, multiple version exam. For the most part, you're going to want to choose exam. Exam is, you know, just a regular quiz, test, any sort of assessment. Um, score and credit are ones where if you are looking to uh, just kind of record a value in here of right and wrong, but you don't want to actually correct the grades. And multiple version exam is something that you may want to use if you have multiple versions of a test or quiz. So I'm going to stick with the basic exam right here. And you can put in the number of questions. So notice it says 100 questions max. I'm just going to say that my quiz has 15 questions. Put in the date as well. To be honest with you, the date is not that important. It's just um, the way that they will be listed in the um, page there. Basically, they're just listed by dates. So if, you, if the date is not the correct date they're actually giving the quiz or test, it doesn't really matter. If you need to put any other notes yourself, feel free to put them in the description and then click Done. Ooh, hello there. So what you're going to want to do now is bubble in whatever you say the correct answer is. Ignore that um, little box around my face. It's trying to, it thinks I'm trying to scan something right now. So I'm just filling in my answer key, whatever it happens to be. Once I do that, I am all set. And what I want to do next is go to forms. So at this point, I'm going to print out these bubble forms that the students are going to use. The genius of GradeCam is that if you have already uploaded your quiz, which I'm sure you have, um, excuse me, your students, you can get the sheets pre-printed with the students' names on it, which means they don't need to know these crazy ID numbers that you threw in there. It does not matter at all. What I like to do also is click Attempt Multiple Pages Per Sheet. This allows me to save paper and print multiple um, bubble sheets on each page. And usually what I do is I set the form somewhere to about 80% or so. It's completely up to you. You can see what happens. And then you're going to click print. I always print it to a PDF because this gives me the opportunity to view it first before I print it. So just in case, for whatever reason, I don't like what it looks like, I can go to again. So I'm going to click print to PDF and um, there was a pop-up that you can't see right now, but basically what it did was it um, popped up with a PDF of the grade cam sheets and all I need to do is print them off. And that's it. You are all done and ready to give your quiz. Come back for a future video about how to grade your quizzes and how to review the results.